Welcome to Learning Metasploit by Sagar Rahalka, a video course by Pact Publishing. I am Adam Stewart, and I will be Sagar's voice for this course. Sagar Rahalka is a seasoned information security professional, having more than 10 years of comprehensive experience in various verticals of IS. His domain expertise is mainly into breach detection, cybercrime investigations, digital forensics, application security, vulnerability assessment and penetration testing, compliance for mandates and regulations, IT, GRC and much more. He holds a master's degree in computer science and several industry recognised certifications. He has been closely associated with Indian law enforcement agencies for more than three years dealing with digital crime investigations and related training and received several awards and appreciation from senior officials of the police and defence organisations of India. Okay, so let's now talk about Metasploit. Learning Metasploit will provide a good starting point to perform penetration testing and identify threats and vulnerabilities to secure your IT environment. This course would help the viewer absorb the essential concepts on using Metasploit framework for comprehensive penetration testing. By the end of the course, the viewer would feel confident on having gained sufficient hands-on knowledge on effectively utilising the framework in real-world scenarios. So now let's look what we have got in store for this course. Section 1. Introduction to Metasploit and Supporting Tools It introduces the viewer to the concepts such as vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. Then the viewer would understand the need for a penetration testing framework, along with a brief introduction to the Metasploit framework. Moving ahead, the section explains how the Metasploit framework can be effectively used across all stages of the penetration testing lifecycle, along with some supporting tools that extend the Metasploit framework's capability. Section 2. Setting up your environment it essentially guides on setting up the environment for the Metasploit framework. This includes setting up the Kali Linux virtual machine, independently installing the Metasploit framework on various platforms such as Windows and Linux, and setting up exploitable or vulnerable targets in the virtual environment. Section 3 Metasploit Component and Environment Configuration It covers the structure and anatomy of the Metasploit framework followed by the introduction to various Metasploit components. This section also covers the local and global variable configuration, along with procedure to keep the Metasploit framework updated. Section 4 Information Gathering with Metasploit It lays the foundation for information gathering and enumeration with the Metasploit framework. It covers information gathering and enumeration for various protocols, such as TCP, UDP, FTP, SMB, HTTP, SSH, DNS, and RDP. It also covers extended usage of the Metasploit framework for password sniffing along with the advanced search for vulnerable systems using Shodan integration. Section 5. Vulnerability Hunting with Metasploit It starts with instructions on setting up the Metasploit database then it provides insights on vulnerability scanning and exploiting using Nmap and Nessus. Section 6. Client-side attacks with Metasploit It introduces key terminology related to client-side attacks. It then covers the usage of the MSF Venom utility to generate custom payloads along with the social engineering toolkit. The section concludes with advanced browser-based attacks using the browser auto PWN auxiliary module. Section 7. Web application scanning with Metasploit. It covers the procedure of setting up a vulnerable web application. It then covers the WMAP module within the Metasploit framework for web application vulnerability scanning and concludes with some additional Metasploit auxiliary modules that can be useful in web application security assessment. Section 8. Antivirus Evasion and Anti-Forensics 
It covers the various techniques to avoid payload getting detected by various antivirus programs. These techniques include the use of encoders, binary packages, and encryptors. The section also introduces various concepts for testing the payloads, and then concludes with various anti-forensic features of the Metasploit framework. Section 9 Cyber Attack Management with Armitage It introduces a cyber attack management tool, Armitage, and can be effectively used along with the Metasploit framework for performing complex penetration testing tasks. This section covers the various aspects of the Armitage tool, including opening the console, performing scanning and enumeration, finding suitable attacks, and exploiting the target. Section 10. Extending Metasploit and Exploit Development It introduces the various exploit development concepts, followed by how the Metasploit framework could be extended by adding external exploits. The section concludes by briefing about the Metasploit exploit templates and mix-ins that can be readily utilized for custom exploit development. So, what are you waiting for? Let's begin this journey together, and I hope you will enjoy the ride.